It's a bit of a circus here yourselves this morning, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it seems like it, doesn't it? Um, very. No, it's a nice, a nice send-off, really. Now, four, two pairs of fans are coming with you. Aren't they? we're leaving the country, or no. whether they yeah, say that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I think, I I think they're angry back. with us actually because they couldn't buy any tickets for this train because we've t- taken all the carriages up. Well, two pairs of them are coming with you. What have you got planned for them when they get there? Or, or are we not letting know? No, we're going to be, tonight we're, we're doing the, the officially the, the launch of the album in Europe and we're going to be playing some of the songs off the new record and some of the old ones as well and I think it's going to be a good night. Apparently there's free booze, so it'll keep them happy, I'm well, sure. Definitely keep them happy. Now, it has, it's been hailed as your greatest album today. I wonder how, that's we hailed it. That's the music <laughs> in first. Well, how do you personally feel about it, guys? Oh, it's the greatest album we've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> we have to hail it, so... You know, without being sounding arrogant, and I don't think any of us are arrogant guys, but we have to be confident in what we've been doing. We've put a lot of work, time and effort into it, and we think we've done some good tunes. Now, you've let the baton go a little bit, Gary, on this one, that everybody's had a go and had a bit of writing. Has that been quite a nice thing to do, an easy thing to do? The last album was the same. Since we've come back, we've all enjoyed being creative in the studio and just enjoyed sharing ideas, really, so it, this is a continuation of that. Yeah. Now, comebacks for any band, no matter how successful, must be quite daunting. You've hit it on the nose, it's been like a Midas touch. What, what, what's made it go so right, do you think? Can you pinpoint why it's been such a great success? I don't know, I mean, uh, I think we're, we're enjoying what, what we're doing. I think that's very important. Um, we're trying to look after each other and we're enjoying it. We're not taking it for granted, you know. We're just, uh, we've been very fortunate we're aware of that and we're just trying to do our best. There is, there is, sorry Mark, to interrupt you, I think there are a lot of factors which contribute to why a band stays well together, but I think firstly you've got to get on together, you know, when you, get, when you become successful as a group of men, it's difficult to keep the egos intact, and I think we've managed to, to, to do that pretty well, we've got good songs as well, can't forget the songs, you know, listenable songs, people like the tunes, and we've got a fantastic fan base which go way back to the 90s, and I think all of those, for all, all those reasons... We're, you know, we're a nice story, aren't we, at the end of the day? And beating Michael Jackson in record ticket sales can't be bad either, can it? I know. 22 years ago that was, wasn't it? That was the uh, the highest selling yeah. tour until now. But that just goes to show what Jason said. We've got an amazing audience. They're very supportive. And they, they keep coming back for more. So we need, to, we need to deliver big stuff to them this time. So Christmas number one, your biggest stuff? Who uh, knows? That's if right. Mr. Blobby doesn't beat us. Yeah, oh. Mr. Blobby might be around he the corner. He might car. make a return. <laughs> well, Thank you. Good luck and congratulations on fatherhood Thank and fatherhood to come. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.